So you gotta do a little prep. Shallots or onions, minced with the saffron. Not a saffron, saffron, S-A-F-F. Because this is the real stuff. More flavor comes out if you mince the saffron with shallots or onions. So that's done. I'm going to explain a few things quickly over here. Now you have to make a fish stock with the bronzono or bronzini if it's more than one bones. So when you go to the butcher and you order bronzine, bronzino, tell them you want the, all the bones that go with it. Because the, the flavor of the fish bones is so mild and sweet because it's more of a white fish. And white fish is, have a better flavor for fish stock. Like flounder is excellent. Halibut has a nice flavor, but uh, like tilefish or sea bear, I mean uh, bluefish, uh, just doesn't make it. So I'm going to cook this down. I already took the bones out until it's just one pint. And then I'm going to thicken it with vermane, which is soft butter mixed with flour. So if you don't know what that is, um, I have a recipe for it. Because this is a nice, rich sauce. So you want to use a butter flour mix, not <clears throat> a roux mixed with flour and some other kind of fat. Now we're going to make the sauce and put it off and double boil it until the fish is ready to be served. So you put whatever amount of garlic you want. We like garlic. So this is my chopped garlic. And I'm putting a good tablespoon in there. Along with that, Goes the, on the shallots or the onions. And I just made up my mind. I'm going to put carrots in there for color. Only. Just for color. I'm going to sweat that up. I don't want to waste any of this. Very slow fire. The wine is going to go with, with the fish. So this doesn't have to do anything except sweat up and then the stock will pick up all the flavor that's in there. I'm not using any kind of herbs because I like the flavor of I'm making noise now. I like the flavor of the fish, the stock, the garlic, the shallots, the saffron. What else could you ask for? And while that's sauteing nice and easy, I'm going to get flour. And make this bourmanier with a very small spoon. Just you see what I did already? I made a mess. So you just Go like so. I could have waited till it was softer, but I want to get done with this. 
I need this recipe done because we're having it tonight for dinner. And this sauce will not go over the fish at all. The Ronzino is served skin side up. And you don't want to put the sauce on top of that nice crispy skin. This will be laid into the plate and the fish will be placed on top. Little scallions on top or parsley, that'll work. And now the stock. And some white wine. A quarter of a cup. Should I measure it or just pour it? It's a quarter of a cup. That's a quarter of a cup. And, uh, As soon as that comes to a boil, I should have the Bermonnier ready. And when you use a Bermonnier, you don't have to sh strain the sauce through a fine sieve like uh, you normally would. Because the flour is already blended in with the butter and smooth. So you add some. Look how beautiful that color is from the saffron. And I know I said I was putting the wine in with the fish because I'm thinking too fast and I went and put it in here. So what does that mean? It that means that I'm just going to add a little bit more wine to the fish. And we don't want this thick because it'll look like glue on the plate minutes after you're eating. So you wait. Give the flour a chance to thicken and then you'll see. That's pieces of garlic. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so I'm just looking at that. Waiting. That's what you have to do. If you go and throw too much or a roux or the bermenier, what are you going to do? You can't take it out. And then you're stuck by stretching it with what? The only thing that you can stretch a sauce with that's really not going to affect the flavor too much is like uh, cream. But it still won't have the strength. You notice? slowly thickening and I have just a drop more which I think I'm going to add after about another minute because this is way too much so we're going to let that reduce it's only two portions four fillets two portions of fish everybody gets two fillets one is not enough Because if the fish weighs one pound, that's whole fish, a pound, one pound, one ounce, and then you fillet it, what do you think you have left? Actually, I could put it on the scale, but I would guess that at least 35% of the weight is in the head and the bones. I'm so curious as to the flavor of this. And in order to get the right flavor, you've got to put some salt in there. And don't shake the salt like this over the pot. Because when the steam gets into the salt, it's going to clump up. So I put some salt in there.
give it a taste. Wow, I like that. And we're giving a chance to, for the alcohol to cook out also. Let me rinse out my spoon because people say, look, I'm double dipping. Well, guess what? It's my sauce and it's for me. I don't recommend anybody double dipping. I even yell at when we have guests over, depending on who the person is. If I see them taking something, dipping it once, and then they go, I go, turn that around and dip the other side. Thank you very much. So, just as a reminder, this fish is fantastic. It is so, so tasty. You have to season it up good. And it just, uh, I can't say it melts in your mouth. But there's no aftertaste. It's so pleasant and mild. And I'm going to put a little bit more, just to let you know. This was the end of what I had. And I started out with... about one and a half tablespoons of butter. Then I added flour and made it like pasty. And this is going to go into a small pot. I'm going to show you what, what you do. You keep a pot Now this pot has a very tight lid, so I don't think I have to do what I tell people to do. Well, may, I will. I'll have to do that. All right, a couple of minutes. This is done. I get my piece of put a little pepper in there or sriracha hot chili sauce. Now. You see it's a very light sauce. I don't recommend putting black pepper in there. Put white pepper. That way you don't see it. But since this is, for me, I'm using black pepper because I like the taste of black pepper a lot more than white pepper. Of course you can see it. But you don't want to. So if you want to be a professional, you use white pepper. And how about one more taste? And then we'll let it simmer so the flour cooks a little bit. Oh, she's going to like this tonight. Very nice. So in exactly two minutes, I'm pouring it into this pot. Then I'm going to piece of, put a piece of saran wrap right on top of the sauce to prevent it from getting a skin. Then I'm going to sit it into a pan in the back of the stove, double boiled, until three hours from now when I plan on cooking the fish. So we're going to season the fish. A little salt. Himalayan pink salt I'm using. And a little black pepper. Lightly dusted in flour. And I'm going to saute it in light olive oil. I'm going to coat the bottom of the pan. 
one hand just one hand is necessary shake it now we are ready to go over to the stove the camera is going to stay on until the, finish, the fish is finished cooking so how do you know if, the, if it's hot enough for the fish you don't want to put it in a cold pan sprinkle a little flour alright you see that means it's hot enough we don't want to burn the flour shake off the fish inside down raise the flame just a little as you can see and this will be a lovely dinner I have to buy myself one of a pan this size, non stick, thick bottom. But as you can see, this goes quite well. Nothing is sticking. And we're in no rush to turn this over. Because the skin side, you want to have a nice crispiness about it. over the flame because we don't want anything burnt. Now we can take a peek and see what's going on. You can see the brown on the edges. That means it's getting color. This one more than that one. We have something warming up to go with the fish. Very nice. This side will cook longer than the other side after we flip it. Here we go. Put the pan away and just flip it. Same thing with this one. Tilt it away, flip it. Beautiful fish. Now you can see. One piece is a little bit smaller than the other, so it's going to have to be taken out in a minute early. Now, we'll get the sauce, which we have over here, and ready right next to this. By putting the plastic on the sauce, it doesn't form a skin. Little 
clay in there. Let's see if we can get a little more color on that. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to take this piece out and just lay it over here. I'll cook this another See how the light olive oil holds the heat pretty good without uh, burning. And very gently put it on the plate. Take the other piece and put it on the plate. And just finish it off with some scallions. And there you go. Great bronzini.